Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Myself Mrinaladi Mahato, MCA with UGC NET exam qualified. In this video, I am going to share with you DBMS UGC NET exam previous year question. Let's start. This is the question number 15. I am reading for you. Consider the following ER diagram. This is the ER diagram. The minimum number of tables required to represent M, N, P, R1, R2 is Option A, 5. Option B, 4. Option C, 3. Option D, 2. This question has asked in December 2013. So first, you must try to understand this ER diagram. You can see here double lines has given. Double lines indicate the total participation. M total participation in R1, N total participation in R2 and R1, R2 is the identifying relationship. So that is why M and N both are weak entities. So weak entity does not have own key attribute, it has only the partial key and partial key denoted by the dashes line. But in this diagram has not mentioned the any partial key of both the entity M and N. So you can take any one. So I am taking N1 as the partial key of entity N, M1 as the partial key of entity M. Now P. P it is the owner entity. Whenever weak entity has given, so weak entity is another. Another entity is the owner entity. Owner entity has own key attribute, but in this diagram has not mentioned the any key attribute. So you can take any one of the key attribute. That means you can choose it any one as a key attribute. So I am taking P2 as a key attribute and key attribute indicates by the under line. So now create the table P. P has own key attribute that is P2 and then P1. Now come table N that means entity N. Entity has only the partial key and through the partial key we cannot create the table. So that is why entities N partial key and owner entities P's key attribute add it and create the one key attribute. So that is N1 and P2. It is the key attribute of entity N and then rest part write it. N2. Same things in the M also. Entity M also. Partial key is given M1 and then key attribute of owner entity that is P2. So M1, P2 is the key attributes of entity M, then M2 and then M3. So minimum number of tables required is 3, P, N, M and maximum number of tables required it is 5 because R1 is different and R2 is different so you can take it. Always in the exams question asks minimum number of tables because in the database how to save the data and the less memory you will use it this is the very important so that is why in the question also has asked in the real life example that is the minimum number of tables so minimum number of tables this is three so three has given in the option number c so option number c is the correct answer this is the explanation part Thank you for watching my video.